What's going on, JMU Nation? My name is Kevin Haswell. This is my co-host, Harry Holtzclaw, and we're back for another episode of Duke Center. JMU football impressed again this weekend on the road at William & Mary with a 46-14 win to move the Dukes to 7-0. They sure did the now 4-0 to the CAA in first place. Yeah, the defense is a big reason why. They forced William & Mary into six turnovers, including a Jimmy Moreland pick six. But don't forget about Marcus Marshall, 11 carries for 65 yards and two touchdowns. His role will be vital down the stretch for the Dukes. Good point, Harry. Let's move on to the rest of the JMU sports. Jamie Field Hockey went 2-0 in the week with wins against Northeastern and Hofstra with a combined score of 12-0. The Dukes are now 10-5, 3-1 in the CAA on the season. They will take on number 18 William and Mary and Towson this weekend. Men's soccer improved to 8-5-3 and they picked up two road wins last week against Longwood and Northeastern to take sole possession of first place in the CAA. They now wrap up their season with Penn State and Drexel. JMU Volleyball moved to 15-4 and 6-4 and and in the CAA with a win against UNCW and a loss against College of Charleston last week. The Dukes will play William & Mary in Elon this weekend. Women's Soccer moved to 9-9 nine and nine. they upset Drexel 2-1 and lost Delaware 2-0 last week. They earned themselves a the number 4 seed in the CAA tournament where they will host William & Mary Sunday at 1 o'clock. Well that just about does it for this week's episode of Duke Center. But before we go, JMU Football returns home to play New Hampshire on Saturday. Harry, who you got? Well, Kevin, the Dukes spoiled William & Mary's homecoming, and I've got them winning their own homecoming this weekend, 31-14 over New Hampshire. Good pick, Harry. I got the Dukes winning 47-7. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Duke Center. Thanks for joining us.